Hi, welcome to Chantel TV, where healthy is the new sexy, and it's time for another episode of Let's Get Juicy, where we flood our bodies with delicious nutrients to keep us looking fabulous and feeling like a million dollars. And today, I have a special Valentine's Day juice for you. What's in my glass? It's not red wine. It is actually a mixture of known potent aphrodisiacs that will help you to tap into that inner passion, perfect for Valentine's Day. It's what I call the sexy elixir, the sex elixir, get it? <laughs> So you've got the mood all set. You've got your wine, you've got your flowers, you've got your chocolate covered strawberries, and hopefully you've got your date too. And you just need that one special ingredient that's gonna take the evening up a notch. So we before, before we get to here, let's take it back a little bit. Okay, party people, it's time to get started with our sexy elixir. So here we have our delicious cast of characters. First we have celery, which has actually been used as a cure for impotence. It stimulates the pituitary gland, which is key to releasing sexual hormones. Then we have beets, which contain boron, which also increases the production of sex hormones. Well, we have carrots, which are very suggestive, is a phallic symbol. And arugula is our saucy green, and it's been used as an aphrodisiac since the very first century. And we have pomegranates. This is, these, the, these are very powerful stuff. It can lift testosterone levels by 30%. And we have ginger, which stimulates blood flow to the most important parts. Um, I've added some apple in there because I love the flavor of apple and beets together. And finally, just a half a lemon to counteract the sweetness of the beets, the carrots, and the apple. So are you ready? Let's get juicy. So if you wanna up the potency of your juice, then think about adding a teaspoon of maca powder. Maca is known as the Peruvian ginseng, so it's kinda like a natural Viagra. So I've put a teaspoon of maca in here with some ice and along with some of our juice, and it's a cocktail shaker. So we're just gonna shake it up. Then we are ready to pour. Mmm, so many delicious flavors. I say you just greet your partner at the door with one of these to get the night started. And if you're feeling really frisky and you wanna take this whole aphrodisiac theme throughout the entire night, then think about starting with some oysters and then maybe some salmon with a chili sauce over uh, asparagus with avocado and then end with a banana dipped in dark chocolate and covered in crushed almonds. And then just get a room. That's it, just, just get a room. Thanks for stopping by Chantel TV, where healthy is the new sexy. And be sure to hit subscribe below so that you can continue getting some juicy recipes. And if you know of anyone whose Valentine's Day needs a little spicing up, then be sure to send them this recipe. So until next time, stay sexy. Happy Valentine's Day.